whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have um, yeah, kind of a big brand on my cask. It's the Tankery number no. 10 gin. I think that's the biggest gin of the Tankery brand. And Tankery goes back to the uh, 1830s. And that was when Charles Tankery developed a new gin recipe. He tried out 300 recipes and um, he named the recipe number 10, not after the 10th recipe, but actually the still that uh, made this small batch possible. And it's actually a small batch. They call themselves uh, small batch gin distilled with imported fresh citrus and botanicals. So they actually make, um, they actually say that you have fresh citrus, which is, I think back in the days was quite spectacular. And yeah, it's a gin, so it's not a dry gin, not a London dry gin. So they could actually do a little sketchy stuff with the gin, but I don't think they do much sketchy stuff with it as a gin is, has a very loose definition, it doesn't have a process that you have to follow. You can just take some, yeah, alcohol, put some uh, juniper in, let it rest for a period of time until you have the flavor of juniper within the alcohol, take the juniper out and that's a gin. And it's because gin is just defined as a spirit drink that tastes mainly of juniper with at least 37.5% ABV. So it's very loosely defined, but uh, still most of the gins are all distilled. Also, this one is distilled. And yeah, I think enough said. The botanicals that are inside are juniper, coriander, uh, angelica root, licorice, and the fresh, what was it, lemon or citrus? Fresh citrus, yeah, probably, probably lemons. Yeah. Oh, very classical gin. So classical gins are for me are uh, very juniper heavy. So it's uh, the first thing that comes to your nose is juniper. A little bit of sweetness in there. And now that I have my second glass, it's a little bit more yeah, citrusy as well, a little bit more freshness in there. But still, the juniper is the dominant flavor in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice and round. Also, main flavor juniper. Uh, be careful, it's 47.3% ABV but still pretty round. You have a little bit of a tingling noise in there that lets you feel, yeah, you have a high percentage spirit drink in your mouth, but it's pretty, pretty round for 47.3% uh, one. So a little bit intriguing one because it's, it's nice, but yet still, it's not one of these new gins crafty with tons of botanicals in there. It just has a handful of botanicals and the main one is definitely the juniper. So very classical gin. Yeah, what do you expect when you have a, a gin with a recipe from 1830? So, yeah. Um, but what I do like about the, the classical gins is that they do very well within the gin tonic. If within, the, within the gin tonic, you have to have a very strong flavor of the juniper. That's just what you need. Mm -hmm. mm. And that's that's just very nice. You have the sweetness, you have a little bit of bitterness, you have the fizziness, the freshness of the tonic combined with a lot of juniper from the from the tankery number 10. And that works really well within the gin tonic. That's a gin tonic that is just very nice, very refreshing. And yeah, I just, it's just perfect drink for, for a summer day. Mm. Enough ice cubes in there and you just have a nice drink that is sweet, uh, that is 
strong that has nice flavors to it mm. and you can just adjust it with the the mixture of gin and tonic and it's just that's no, just lovely so this one i would actually rate that it does very very well within the gin tonic within the um with neat i would say nice if you very enjoy your juniper if you enjoy the nuances and you want to find the differences then this might not be the one for you so I think a lot of you might out there might have already tried the Tranquil number 10. Just write it down in the comments below. What do you think? Is it a mainstream product that should be shunned? Is it yeah, a product for beginners? Or do you think, yeah, it's a rather good one. And do you like it? Do you do it? Write it down in the comments below. Yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.